Hello, this is Borna from Borna.tv, and today I'm going to discuss a brand new application which was launched, I believe, last week by a company that uh, makes a piece of software that I just discussed in the previous video called Visual Hub. But this is called Audio Hub. Audio Hub. And Visual Hub, I talked about previously, is one of the great applications for video. Audio Hub is for audio. So you can think of all the things you can do with Visual Hub and try to apply some of the nice new features of that particular application to audio and we'll see what it does. So let's go ahead and launch the application and I'm just going to type audio hub and it launches or it's trying to launch <laughs> and here we see a welcome to audio hub splash screen. Would I like to go in trial mode or would I like to register. I just downloaded this application a couple of days ago. Actually, I'm not going to lie. I just downloaded it today. <laughs> but I've got great use out of it already. I can see the potential. And uh, I'm going to launch this in trial mode. And I'm going to go ahead and move the window over here so you guys can get a better view of this. So Audio Hub kind of looks very similar to Visual Hub in that you have a drag and drop interface to add files in batch mode. And then you have a section here at the bottom to convert it to a specific format and if you click if I click on the convert you can see that I have two sections mainly there's lossy compression and then there's lossless compression so if I want to compress with a lossy compression technique meaning mp3 AAC WMA even 3G for cell phones or aug vorbis I was pleasantly surprised to see that one in there I can do that or I can go to a lossless compression which tends to take more space but it retains a great deal of the audio quality from the original source and that's AIFF, WAVE, Apple Lossless and a new format, not really new but a format that's becoming more and more popular called FLAC which is a very very good audio quality. I mean if you're an audiophile you probably already know about FLAC. You can also burn audio CDs. I was pleasantly surprised to see this. You can burn audio CDs and you can burn MP3 CDs. Now I'm going to talk through a quick workflow here just so you can see how it works. Now how I visualize myself using this would be with my podcast. So here's some files that I've already encoded in uh, Ubercaster which is another tool on, of Buona.org Radio which is my audio podcast. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop that file in here. And it tells me the runtime, and it tells me you know the file name and everything, and I can specify what I want to convert to. Let's say I got a special request, and I already have to convert this to Og Vorbis, O double G Vorbis. And there's advanced settings, but you, if you remember, if you see my, <laughs> if you saw my uh, my Visual Hub video, don't you'll screw it up. You shouldn't have to touch this, but if you want to, you can. And they have a one-offs tab up here, so you can trim the file if you want. So you can start at a specific point and end at a specific point. Now this is some stuff that I'm used to seeing in QuickTime Pro. You can set some metadata here, title, artist, album, art, all that stuff. Or there's some basic info for that particular file if I were to select it. So let's go ahead and select it so we can see some stuff here. And uh, let's see, I go to Info. And you can see that's MP3 audio, 10.4 megabytes, MPEG-1 layer 3, so it's an MP3, and so on and so forth. So now I can convert this to Og Vorbis if I want to. And uh, I can also, remember the slider in Visual Hub? Here we see it in Audio Hub. We can go Auto, we can go Mini. <laughs> they have AM for the lowest audio setting, so that's like AM radio, I guess. And then there's High. And obviously, there's the uh, there's the familiar go nuts. So more quality, they tell you here, it means more disk space used. And uh, it says, I'll leave it up to you to figure out what's more important. So you can specify destinations. You can stitch files together. And remember, in Visual Hub, same thing. When it's done, you can put the computer to sleep. You can open the destination folder. Shut down your computer if you're going to convert a bunch of audio files. So here's a workflow for you guys. Say you're done with MP3. Or say you have a ton of WMA files that you want to convert to Og Vorbis, or a ton of WMA files you want to convert to MP3. You can drag and drop all those files into this app, select Convert to Og Vorbis, tell it that when it's done to put your computer to sleep and then go to bed and click Start. It's that simple. And it, it, it does batch converting at a very easy 
with a very easy interface and makes it so easy to do. And you can preview files by clicking preview. We're a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech. And it plays five seconds into the uh, file and ten seconds up to ten seconds. And you can loop it and you can play including the compression so you can see what it will sound like in Augmorbus format. So that's one workflow. Now another workflow, I'm going to quickly talk about this, is if you want to rip your CD to FLAC. And I have a CD already mounted here that I'm going to open. And here I have a bunch of tracks here. And I'm going to go ahead and clear, clear the interface here. Now say I wanted to rip these CD tracks into FLAC. Now you know CD is, is a great audio quality. I can drag and drop a whole bunch of files into here. And it's reading the CD now. And you can see the different uh, the different run times on each. And I can say convert to FLAC. So there are no quality settings for lossless codec. So now I'm going to get a FLAC conversion of all of this audio from this CD, those tracks I selected, to FLAC using this software. Now I highly encourage you to check out this software. Audio Hub is available, I believe it's for $15 if you've already bought uh, Visual Hub. But it's a little bit more. I believe it's a little bit above 20 bucks if you uh, haven't bought it. But in my mind, if you are serious about your audio and you, if you are, you know, have a lot of files that you wish to convert or you work with audio in all your workflows from day to day and you want to streamline the process, you can do so with Audio Hub. And it does support low level command line scripting. So if you want to hook this into your workflow with an automated script, it does support that. This is a very flexible application. All right, this is Buona from Buona.tv, and this is Audio Hub. Check them out. Just go to Google and type in Audio Hub, and it'll be the very first hit. Enjoy.